Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be doing some more work for our tow company, Ace Towing and Recovery. And as you can see, we have the Kenworth W900 behind us, a semi-truck hauling a trailer, and we have our Freightliner on top of the trailer today, guys. So, I know what you guys are probably thinking. You just used this Freightliner yesterday. What happened? Did it break down? Nope, it did not break down. We actually needed to recover another trailer. And what we're going to do is use this truck to bring the other trailer on top of this trailer. I'll explain everything once we go ahead and get going. But anyway, guys, take a look at the Kenworth. I want to give a huge shout out to Bag Customs for um, fitting the skin on. If you guys remember this truck, we never had a skin on it before. But I sent the skin um, over to him and he was able to fit it on for me. So I really do appreciate that bad customs. Thank you so, so much. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head out, guys. This truck is looking awesome. Very, very nice. So we're going to be heading out. We got to uh, head out to a RV, a customer with an RV and trailer. Cutting it close there. Uh, RV and a trailer. The trailer actually has a seized wheel bearing, so they're unable to continue on their journey, and we're gonna have to go ahead and tow the trailer. So since the wheel bearing is seized, basically the wheel isn't gonna be spinning properly, and we cannot tow it since it is damaged. It's just gonna end up damaging more stuff. So what we have to do is put the trailer on top of this trailer and we're going to use the Freightliner tow truck to do so. Should be pretty cool. It's something that we have never done before in game and something that is new to uh, GTA as well. And I actually got this idea from um, Plaza Towing too. They posted a video and some pictures of it on their Instagram. It's actually kind of common um, that stuff like this happens and it's a pretty, I guess, the common way to address the situation so anyway we're pulling up on the campsite now it's going to be over on our left and yep there it is now there's really no good parking spots here but i'm gonna try to see if i could just oh they didn't even slow down at all i'm gonna see if i can kind of just double park right over here we are going to be blocking some of these cars a little bit but if anything they could probably wiggle their way out as needed all right so what i'll do is i'll park right here that way we're not blocking too many uh cars here so let's go ahead and hop out and take a look at what we are working with no idea why he wanted to get out on the side of traffic but that's all good but yeah this truck is looking beautiful guys i'm loving this this is nice all right so let's go ahead and take a look you know what i might as well um I might as well get this off as well so let's go ahead and put out our ramps and we'll get the truck detached all right, guys, we put down the ramps. We also unchained the truck so we can now hop into it. And let's carefully back it up. Let's turn on our lights as well. Don't really have too much room to work with here, so we got to be very careful with this. Let's kind of just straighten it up. All right, perfect. We are finally down. So let's talk to the uh, customers here. It's a really nice motorhome, by the way, too. Looks like these guys about to have some fun camping. Hey, how you doing? My name is Ace from Ace Towing. Yep, we're going to definitely take care of that, sir. Uh, is it already disconnected? Okay, so here's the deal. What we're going to do is I'm going to actually use this tow truck over here. It, it does have a ball adapter to it, so we're going to attach to your trailer and then pull it onto my trailer over there and then safely haul it to the repair shop, okay? 
Hey, yeah, if you guys want to pick it up from the repair shop, that's fine. Or if you guys want, we can actually tow it back to you guys tomorrow once it's, once it's repaired. Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this disconnected. This RV looks amazing though, guys. So we're going to pull this thing forward. Mercedes Benz too, wow. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna pull this forward and we'll just leave it parked right about there should be fine. And we'll hop into our tow truck now and we'll attach that to the trailer. And then we'll try to back it up and get it onto our trailer. Oh, got him with the pit. Don't hit my truck, please. Oh, God. We're going to have bullet holes in our truck. Alright, so what we have to do now is put this arm down. And we're also going to have to put on the uh, trailer attachment as well. And there we go, arm is down, and let's put the trailer attachment on now. And there we go, so that yellow piece right there is going to go ahead and attach to the trailer and we'll be able to tow it. Alright, we got it attached. And now we just want to try to straighten this load up and drive it straight up the trailer. Alright, so for this first part, we're going to lift this up a little bit. Because as we go up on the trailer, the back's going to drop down and we don't want our arm to scrape. And on the other side, we're going to now lower it. Right here is as far as we could go. I'm going to lower this down and we'll get everything chained up. Alright, so we are now on the trailer. I have to go around and make sure we secure each corner of the uh, tow truck here. I'm also trying to secure the arm as well so that it doesn't move around. And then we're going to have to also secure the four corners of the trailer. And for those of you who don't know, like the wheel bearing is basically a piece that's like right here in the center of the wheel. And what it does is, it's not in the wheel, it's actually like part of the, the drive, I guess you could say like kind of like back there. But basically, I'm not going to go into too much detail. But basically what it does is it spins and when it seizes up, it doesn't spin properly. It could kind of get really hot, catch on fire, it could, it could do a lot of bad stuff and starts damaging other stuff as well. So that's why we're not towing it because we do not want to damage it more. So that's why we have it on the trailer so we can safely transport it. So let's put this uh, ramp back up now. There we go. And I'll work on getting this thing chained down and I'll let you guys know when we are ready. Alright guys, we have everything chained down and ready to go. Let me let the customers know.
Alright, I'm all good to go. Uh, you guys are going to continue with your camping trip? Okay, well I hope you guys have a uh, better day now. Sorry the uh, trailer went out on you. But we should have it back to you by tomorrow. And we'll drop it off for you guys, okay? Alright, you guys have a, a better day, okay? Alright, thank you for your business. Alright, so let's get out of here, guys. We're going to be taking this to uh, Grape Seed. Actually, no, Harmony to get repaired. So let's go ahead and head out. It's going to be a little hard to pull out of this area here. We're gonna have to just kind of gun it out. All right, we got two cars, street cars. Oh, we got a whole bunch of cars now. I should have went when we had the chance. All right, a little sketchy, but we are on the move, guys. We are on the move. Let's roll. You guys are going to see the hook on the tow truck kind of just go crazy. Whenever you attach a tow truck to a, uh, like a trailer or something like that, the hooks just keep on flying all over the place. But that's fine. No big deal. No big deal at all. So yeah guys, let me know how's everybody doing today. Hope everyone's having a great day. And uh, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new too and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. This is definitely one of the coolest loads we ever had to haul though. Hauling one of our own trucks on a trailer attached to another trailer. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, we're making this left turn here and taking Route 68 to the mechanic shop. Now guys, one thing I wanted to ask, um, what we're going to do, this thing should be fixed by today, we should be able to drop it off tomorrow. But when we drop this thing off, should we bring it, how should we tow it back to the campsite? Should we put it on the trailer again or should we just use the tow truck alone to tow it? Or actually we could just use one of our pickup trucks too. Maybe we could use like the uh, F-350 to haul it back or something like that. So let me know your suggestions down below in the comment section. Do you guys want me to take it back just like this using a semi truck, the Freightliner and the, uh, the big trailer? Or should we just use the Freightliner alone or should we use the F350. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys would like us to do in our next episode there. Uh, 
I hate when I get stuck behind a slow moving vehicle. This guy is like barely moving. Going like five miles per hour here. Hopefully he turns or something. This is ridiculous. Please turn to the right. What is wrong with people? Alright, we gotta go around this guy. We're gonna be here forever if we don't. So we're just about there guys, we should be pulling into town in a couple minutes here. Hey guys, we are here. So we're gonna be dropping off at this little uh, mechanic shop here, and I'll take care of it from here. All right, so now basically what we're gonna do is do everything in reverse of what we already did. So we're gonna put the ramps down again, get everything uh, unchained, and then back it off and drop it off here. All right, and now for the tricky part. Guys, we have to carefully back this thing off now. Looks like we got it, so we're gonna have to back it into the uh, garage area now. You know what? This isn't even going to be able to go into the garage because it has a jet ski and a dirt bike on top. Alright, so you know what? Let's uh, let's take our round back. We're going to have to work on it on, in the uh, back of the shop because it cannot fit inside. Perfect. That's some pro level reversing right there, guys. So 
So we'll leave that right there and we'll load our truck back onto the trailer and we'll head back to our shop. But yeah guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you guys thought about it down below in the comments section. And don't forget also, um, let me know how do you guys want us to tow this back tomorrow. What should we use? I'm, I'm leaning towards the F-350, but let me know what you guys think. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also check out my website, acepilot.com. 2k7.com on my website i have tutorials and mod lists to show you how to download the game and how to download mods and how to install the mods i also have an exclusive section if you'd like to support me by becoming an ascriber you get access to some bonus uh, videos on my website so you get to watch some behind the scene videos and learn how i make the videos and see some of the behind the scenes stuff or you could check out the first access section as well and you're able to check out some exclusive videos that are only on my website and most of all, you're able to help support the channel. So if you would like to do that, definitely is appreciated. But like I said, definitely check out the website. There's a bunch of free stuff on there as well from the tutorials, the mod list, and much, much more information that can help you out with your gaming um, needs or stuff like that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.